So back to today's content, um, the uh, most important and also this is the foremost, uh, the, uh, the topic is the internet access policy. So the internet access policy is actually transitioned from the web security policy. Uh, maybe many of you, if you are using uh, Stratcolon Manager or uh, have a Prism Access, de deploy Prism Access deployment experience, uh, you might uh, find that term familiar. So the reason why we are uh, transfer the web security to internet access policy uh, there are four main reasons, uh, but all to the end, right? The goal is to simplify the operation and the, the policy management. So first of all, the internet access policy uh, will provide you a unified rule base, which means uh, admins no longer needs to go to security policy to manage the standard policy and uh, navigate to web security policy uh, to manage any internet related uh, access policy. Uh, by this, right, we are eliminating uh, so many constructs and uh, the need to uh, to reconcile and check across many different pages. Uh, the second is so this is an out of the box internet security, so which means uh, whenever a new project kick started or new tenant is spin up, right, the internet access policy is enabled by default with all the best practice. Uh, this will really, really deliver the time to value to all customer. Um, and with the uh, single uh, unified rule construct, right, you will be able to uh, have the flexibility to put the policy in any order, uh, pre-rule, post-rule in the each of the pre-rule, post-rule, right, you can put internet or standard policy in the order so that you can manage the policy and the firewall behaviors uh, the way you use to manage on panorama or on uh, on ng firewall directly uh, this gives admins the full uh, control over the order of the rules uh, last but uh, not least where right, sassy security is natively integrated so in all the internet access policy uh, we can control the sas security and the, the sub function uh, the sub application function behavior uh, user doesn't need to have the SaaS security license to be able to uh, configure the, uh, the internet access policy with the same IPIDs supported by SaaS security. Um, so first, the SCM behavior change, you, you will notice, right? Um, let's go here. So if we navigate to configuration ng firewall and Prism access, so under the security services, web security will be replaced by internet security. So this becomes only a construct to configure the security levels and all the other settings. So all the policies can either be managed under the internet security snippet or in each of the Prisma access scope. So once you have the policy, uh, you, you, have, you are in the uh, uh, SCM, so I'm showing you on my live tenants, right? You will be able to see, right, this is my rule base. So my standard policy will have this shell icon and all the internet security policy will have this global icon. So as you can see, all of them are under the same policy construct. You can put this in any order you'd like. You can drag and drop, or you can just say, I want to top the one policy above all, right? So when you add a new policy, you will find, right, all the policies will be managed under security service, security policy, single construct. It can be either a pre-rule or post-rule, uh, and also uh, the rule can be regular security policy or internet access policy. So this is a very straightforward construct from now on. Uh, other than that, right, the SaaS security is natively integrated. I just opened the internet security policy. So this is managed access to, uh, to box services. So the policy can be based on any actions, allow, block, and uh, the logging settings I, I need to have. Um, so based on the source and the destinations, uh, we can control the traffic to certain SaaS applications. Other than that, going to the advanced application setting. So for example, any application, we enable the any sub functions. For example, we can allow copy, create, delete, downloading uh, to access when the box application is allowed. However, we want to block consumer or enterprise access, et cetera. So this gave 
add means granular control uh, when creating a single policy, but uh, can manage the behaviors uh, that can act uh, active on the application. Also, right, all the advanced security uh, best practice are enabled for the uh, same policy. Okay. So I already covered the unified rule base and the flexible ordering. Um, so talking about the snippets, right, all the um, internet security uh, um, policy uh, can be configured directly under the Prisma access, each of the um, configuration scope, or you can use a snippet uh, to create uh, the security policy, then associate the snippet to each of the configuration scope you'd like. Uh, if you have existing SAS security recommendation, uh, this 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 is showing you how you can associate a snippet to the scope. So you can see here the snippet is associated to global. So if you have a, a existing SAS security conf, uh, policies, so all those policies will be migrated to this SAS inline policy recommendation. Then you can choose to copy the policy or migrate it back. Um, next topic will be the new onboarding workflows. So Prisma Access is providing you a very robust uh, onboarding and the configuration flows. However, some customers find that there are so many different features and we are uh, growing very fast. Every month we are basically introducing new features. So this new onboarding workflow providing you a single pass to onboard users, remote sites, as well as how to off ramp to private applications via ZTNA connector and the service connection. So I'm going to show you uh, two examples, right? First, I, I want to onboard a user. So when I onboard a user, there are simple steps. I can configure the CIE for authentication, enable the infra, enable the Prisma access location, enable the best practice security services, and also learn how to deploy Global Protect from a single pass. So admins no longer needs to jump between different portals, different pages to configure a single feature. So everything will be done with this a single workflow. Similarly, uh, to enable a branch size with supports to configure SD1 sites and the regular Prisma Access standard VPN sites. To configure any sites, right, it's also the single flow we can configure the circuits, apply uh, provision the SD1 devices, apply the uh, policies. Prisma Access will also recommend what are the best Prisma Access location, uh, suggest to deploy with HA, and visualize the deployment of topology. So with this onboarding flow, right, this will deliver the time to value and also um, make the admin uh, configuration experience much streamlined. Uh, not only the users and the branch, as I mentioned, right? Uh, I'm not gonna to jump onto my tenant. So this onboarding flow supports also off ramp, which means uh, you can use the onboarding flow to configure ZTNA connector and the service connection as well. The next feature is the content versioning. Uh, so content versioning means uh, sometime when you commit uh, to Prisma Access using SCM, uh, you might see a validation error. That's because the SCM uh, may host a different content version um, from the Prisma Access. So when the content, <clears throat> when the contents are mismatched or insynchronized, right? So the commit will fail. So with R1 release, SCM will always host the two versions of the content, which is the uh, lowest version that Prisma Access is holding, and the latest version as CM is get, get the updates. So as CM knows right, what version Prisma Access is, and therefore we can eliminate the commit error um, if there's any insynchronized with the content version. So as you can see, right, you can check each of the content version from different tabs. So for Prisma Access, you can check from the Prisma Access general information and for SCM, right, you can check in any of the uh, security service for the content version. 
Uh, next is on the panorama to SCM migration. So you might be on a panorama manager Prism Access and want to uh, start to uh, get the benefits from SCM. So now we support this in production tool to migrate the existing Prisma Access managed by Panorama to SCM managed. Uh, this is an uh, GA feature, so you can find the admin guide. Uh, so what it really looks like. So as you can see, right, this feature uh, is controlled by feature flag. So you might need to talk to your account team to enable the feature flag. Once the feature flag is enabled, right, so in the SCM, there will be a one configuration shows as a migrate to Strata Cloud Manager. And uh, it also uh, directed the user to the guide. So just want to mention, right, for even for the Panorama Managed Prisma Access tenant, there is also a SCM dummy tenant showing there. So you can actually uh, navigate into Hub, into Strata Cloud Manager to check whether you see the options. So going to next, so commit status visibility. So right now, all the commits to Prisma Access is only showing the configure uh, the scopes of as the mobile users, remote networks, service connections. So if you are having multiple compute locations in each of the categories, right? Um, admins usually don't know uh, which compute location is already completed and which is still ongoing. So with this new visibility tab. We actually show you, right? US East, US West, Europe, EMEA, um, uh, EMEA, uh, India, right? Any locations, uh, we show it in a granular way. So admins can start a commit and check the, the uh, commit status. So once you notice, right, one location is successfully committed, which means the configuration will work, then you can uh, just let the rest of the commit going and uh, continue to testing. Uh, the policies you are deploying. Um, this is a, just a, to uh, simplify and optimize the admin experience. Um, last, the policy optimizer enhancement. So the policy optimizer will uh, basically um, um, so it's under the manage and the security posture. So it will analyze uh, over promise the uh, policy and the transfer that to the optimized policy rules uh, that will provide the real zero trust uh, uh, network access uh, for granular based on the user's source address, et cetera. And with the R1 updates, right? So the policy optimizer will analyze the master policy and divide that into sub policies. And the sub policy now will support based on the username and the user group, right? For example, if I have a policy allow any 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 user to any application, and based on the real traffic, uh, so the policy optimizer will be able to identify hey who are actually the users are sending the traffic, uh, th that is hitting the master rule and uh, put it into a granular rule. So this will support both the usernames and the user group. Uh, therefore, uh, it will much, much more narrow down uh, the policies, uh, the heating uh, targets on the, based on the source user and the user group. Okay, uh, next one. So the EDL hosts a service update. <clears throat> so EDL is the external dynamic list. Uh, so this is a Palo Alto network hosted uh, cloud service. Uh, which means this is basically a list of all the services IP of each of the uh, um, each of the services, SaaS services. Uh, what this actually benefits is you can have a policy to allow traffic egress from Prism Access to all of these services, right? This can help you uh, to better construct the security policy. And because these are a dynamic list, right? So any service change, on any service IP change from all these services, right? Palo Alto will also update this EDL uh, so that you don't need to worry about to manage so many IP addresses. So uh, with R1, uh, the EDL services, we added Oracle, Atlantian, and the uh, Zscaler services IP. Yeah, 
I see uh, we finished fairly quick. Um, this is pretty much uh, about all the R1 updates. Uh, so again, right, so Cloud Strata, Man uh, Strata Cloud Manager is a cloud native service. Um, so we are following an agile development. So basically every month uh, we'll have a new feature and a new release note published to our websites. Uh, today, what I covered is just uh, focusing on uh, the new features, new functions uh, will benefit for the SASE deployment. Uh, for the internet access policy, uh, that is uh, that that is an ex improvement for both SASE and NG firewall. Uh, but the rest is pretty much um, uh, very focusing on SASE. Um, yeah, so that will uh, conclude the content I want to update today.